How to handle debt? Debt is not fun. It is one of those things that we all have to face, whether it is student loan debt, medical debt, or more. Debt management is tricky as well. Knowing you have an obligation to pay means that you aren't really able to live as financially free as you can, and that is a bummer. When thinking about how to handle debt, there are some considerations you should have, as well as different approaches to take based on the severity of the debt. How to handle debt, things to think about. Debt is common, and no one wants to have it. For some people, their situation is relatively easy to overcome, while others are dug into a deeper hole. There are two main things to keep in mind when thinking about how to handle debt. First of all, don't hide from the problem. Memorize the number down to the cent that you're in debt. Look at it head on, no matter how bad it is. Once you've seen the problem, you can deal with it. Second, remember that it's really all uphill from here. You shouldn't expect a debt cure overnight. That's just not realistic. Managing and handling debt is where you need to be okay being at. Come up with a debt strategy. There are several different strategies. First, you can take a debt snowball strategy. This is where you pay off the small stuff first. Get the little charges and debts out of the way so that you can focus on the big monster in the closet. Second, you can also take a debt avalanche approach where you pay down the debt with the highest interest rate. Pay it off in a way that you're still able to keep up with the minimum payments on the rest of your debt. Then, move on to the debt with the second highest interest rate, and then the third. Third, you can take advantage of debt consolidation. Basically, you roll all your debts into one. You then pay off the lump sum debt with one interest rate, hopefully, a lower one, and then go from there. It gives you one target to shoot at, and that singular focus can actually be a big stress relief. If you're focusing on five moving targets at a time, that is harder to deal with than just one. Know your budget. Know what you can and can't spend money on. You have X amount allotted for Y category, and do not deviate from that plan unless absolutely necessary. You should know exactly what you can and cannot spend. Work your debt repayment into your budget and keep it there until you've paid it off. Ready to know where your money is going each month. Learn everything you need to know about tracking expenses and budgeting with our Budgeting 101 series. Ready to get started? Here's what you need to know. How to budget. How to track expenses. Choosing a budget system. Budgeting errors. How to save money. Getting rid of debt. How to handle debt. The debt snowball technique. What to know about debt consolidation. Budgeting tools. Basic household budget. College budget 101. Home improvement budget. Wedding budget planner. Debt relief. Debt relief can come in many forms, such as debt settlement, bankruptcy, and more. This is best for people who are in a mountain of credit card debt and aren't finding a lot of progress. There are pros and cons to debt relief, and it is not a magic wand, if it was, everyone would do it. Consider consolidating your debt. Debt consolidation is usually a pretty good idea. If you have many different debts that you're trying to pay down, rolling them into one makes it easier. Don't be afraid to contact a non-profit debt solution center. These centers can help create a payment plan for you so that you're given a number to pay each month that works for you. Once you have a plan in place, that takes a lot of relief off of you. Just getting the plan in place gives you a sense of direction and focus, and that will take a huge load off your shoulders. If you're in debt, don't feel alone. According to CNBC, more than 80% of American people are in debt. There are entire academies dedicated to teaching people how to get away from debt, and debt is something that is ingrained in the culture. No matter how bad your situation is, it is manageable in some way or another, and there is always someone worse off. Don't be afraid to ask a financial professional for help. There is a way out of this, you just have to find the path and follow it.